we're about to go do a crazy Funko Pop trade. That's right folks, we're about to go do a Funko Pop trade. And I am getting ready to go meet this guy that I met uh, at a pop swap and we communicate a lot on Facebook. And he has four Funko Pops that's in my grill. I mean, these four Funko Pops are the ones that I've always wanted. And I have these right here to trade with him. Now, I know you guys will say I'm crazy for trading my Fred Flintstone, Bony Rubble, the, the Banker Joker, Dark Seed, the two-pack Flintstone, Frankenstein Jr., Marvin and Martian that I just got, <laughs> and V for Vendetta. But the four that he has, like I said, one of them, I always wanted, but couldn't afford him. So he, well, I contacted him, offered him a few pops. He said, yeah, we can do that. So before you think I'm giving this away, there are some that have minor perfection. Like this one here is in good condition. The uh, Vifa Vendetta. This one's in perfect condition. This one's in perfect condition. Marvin the Martian. Actually, I just got him. He's in good condition. And actually, I, this, I only paid 15 bucks for this one. I wanna say, I bought this a long time ago, maybe $6. <laughs> Same thing with this one here. I mean, it looks, value right now, these pops are probably worth a lot. But when I bought them, they were not that expensive. A lot of these I bought for retail. Actually, I think all of these I bought for retail. Like the Fred Flintstone, I bought this a long time ago for retail. This one too, he's worth a lot of money now. But when I did purchase him, he was like, I wanna say $15 or $16. He was a little bit more than the rest because I bought him a little late. And same, no, Borny was regular price. Now Borny, I did tell him that Borny has, uh, right here, there's, there's a little imperfection right here. Kind of the cardboard kind of rubbed off. Because what happened was, uh, back in three years ago, uh, there was a sticker on top. And I peeled the sticker off they had the glue residue. I didn't know what I was doing. I got some water and I kind of wiped it off and it rubbed some of the cardboard off. I was dumb. And the bank robber joker is in good condition. I think all of the rest of them are good condition besides this one here. And I told him about this one too. This one is not worth the value that it says right now on uh, eBay or price pop guide because the top here is kind of messed up and the bottom here in the back. But that's how much, that's how I paid for it. He was like on clearance. And so uh, he was below retail value when I got him a long time ago. Matter of fact, it says 13 on it. This was from long, oh, you can't see it. Yeah, this is from long time ago. So we're gonna go ahead, take a little ride to a 4-4 land. <laughs> so actually, I am going to take a two hour ride. One way to trade these Funko Pops for my grail, the ones I've always wanted. So guys, let's go take that ride. All right, so I'm here, and uh, you should be here any minute, and we're gonna go ahead and do this swap real quick. Well, all right, folks, I just finished the trade. Uh, I didn't take the camera down because I didn't want to be that guy <laughs> to start videoing. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna head back home, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, folks, I'm back, finally back. After five long hours, I am back home with my four Funko Pops. That's right, I guess you guys are wondering, why did he trade all those Funko Pops for just four? I mean, I had uh, Fred, I had Barney, I had the bank robber jo Joker, I had a 
bunch of freaking Funkos I traded just for these four. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys. Like I said, one of these is my holy, 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 holy grail. I mean, I've been wanting this Funko for the longest, but I waited too late and I couldn't find them out there. So I was able to get it off this trade because waiting too late, the price is jacked up on it. And I can't afford it right now. So what did I get? I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the one right on top. Number one, that Green Goblin Chase. I was never ever able to find this Chase at Walgreens. So now I have that Green Goblin Chase, which is freaking awesome. That is one of my grails. Now another one is one that I want, but I didn't win it. You have to win this Funko Pop. So I was able to do that trade and I got the Conan Spider-Man. Conan as Spider-Man. Check it out, folks. I was able to get that one too. And that's one that I really, really, really wanted. I was hoping I would have won it on uh, the Conan O'Brien show when you had to do the sweepstakes during the San Diego Comic Con. Check it out, folks. So that's two right there. Pretty awesome. Another one that I wanted. Now these are the two things that I enjoy the best. <laughs> one is Spider-Man, which these two are from Spider-Man. And the next one is wrestling. That's right, folks. Check it out. I finally got me a Freddy Funko. Check it out. Freddy Funko as Sting. That is freaking awesome. Look at there. And this is another one that I've always wanted, but I said I can't afford it. So I was able to do a good trade to get this one too. Now, the last one. You guys probably know what this one is. If you know me, you probably know what this one is. Let me shine them on in here. <laughs> you see him, huh? <laughs> Let me show you guys what it is. Y'all don't know which one it is, but it's one that I've always wanted. But right now, I can't afford it. <laughs> so I was able to do a trade. Check it out, folks. The Chase. Spider-Man from Gemini Collectibles Exclusive. Now, there's kind of a glare on here because we have it in a card case. But check him out. Now, from what I was told, I think only a thousand of these were made. And this is one I've always wanted, but the price is so high on them that I cannot afford them. And I was able to find someone that would trade for it. Check it out. And he glows in the dark. It's that glow in the dark chase. And I noticed at the bottom right here, it looks like he came out in uh, 2013, January of 2013. That's an old one. I am so happy to have this one. So folks, that's what I got on my, tr on my trade, my Holy Grail trade. Check him out two of the favorite things I want. Cause what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to condense my collection and I want to do uh, WWE. I gotta have that in my collection. I gotta have uh, the NBA Pops. As you guys have been seeing me unboxing NBA Pops. I want that in my collection. Gotta have the Walking Dead. Gotta have Spider-Man. And the next thing is the Game of Thrones. That's the ones I'm trying to get all completed. So all the other ones I'm gonna be trading so I can complete those. Cause man, I got too many fun clothes in here. <laughs> I went crazy the last couple of years, just buying and buying and buying. So now I can start trading and getting the ones that I really, really want. The ones that I missed a long time ago. So that's it for this episode of Out of the Box. Till the next episode, I'll see you guys later.